Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com. Look who I have next to me. Pleasure to have Emily the Forest, the winner of Eurovision 2013, and also the songwriter for the UK entry 2017. I recall that as well. Um, how do you feel, Emily? Welcome to Finland. Thank you. I feel great. Yeah, I feel great. I arrived yesterday. So, mm -hmm. um, how have you been doing so far? What has it been up to? In this space um, well, I landed in the afternoon, and then I had to do some practical stuff like picking up a guitar and, and a sound check and checking into the hotel because I had a gig at uh, a club in Helsinki uh, last night. So, uh, and I got home pretty late, mm -hmm. um, and then I had to get up early and catch the train to Turku. So. Um, you, yeah. You've been performing a lot for the last years, actually, you are being yeah. in the eye of the hurricane. So what do you get the most from your fans, from the people, when you go to this kind of gigs? I mean, I just I still can't believe, you know, when I also play concerts with my band, that people actually, like, bought a ticket to come and hear a concert just with me and hear me perform, you know, my songs that I wrote. It's still pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I think about it. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, it, you wrote... Uh, the, the UK entry, as we mentioned before, yeah. for uh, um, Lucy Jones in 2017, yeah. and you also won the Eurovision Song Contest a few years ago. Yeah. You went busy uh, touring after the contest in in Malmo. You were yeah. like you. I thought you were like two years or something like that, like traveling around, yeah, singing the same a lot song. Going on, like, what happened? At least two years after. Yeah. What happened afterwards? Uh, well, then in 2015, I uh, left Universal, my old label, and I went solo and wanted to do everything by myself because, you know, everything went so fast after the Eurovision and I was so young and I didn't know what I want to do and um, yeah so I went solo and wrote a lot for myself and for others and um, released an album myself and with my fans yes. through Pledge as it's called and then later really I got good a, album, by the way. oh thank you and then I got a label on in Stockholm I'm half Swedish okay. so yeah and now um, yeah I'm working on new material so yeah okay when are we going to listen to these new tracks that you are God, I don't know because I would really love to get something released like before the summer holidays okay. but yeah let's see because I've been so focused on touring with my band here in February and, and in March so I think April and March also will be for songwriting and then I would like to if I could present something to a label before the summer holidays great so that's my goal actually I would like to ask you because now you're telling that you're songwriting you're preparing stuff and you also yeah. as we mentioned you won the Eurovision do you yeah. find any different Emily before winning the Eurovision and after yeah. winning the Eurovision. But not so much because of, I guess, winning your well, winning Eurovision. I think more with age, because I was so young. I was like 19, 20, and now I'm, wait. No, I just turned 26 the other day, actually. Mm -hmm. So it just it's crazy what happens in those few years, I'm like being a kid almost. And, you know, I'm much better at handling stress and, and weird situations than when I was younger. Everything would really get to me easily, so... I feel like a different person, okay. definitely, but more because of age and not so much of your vision. But of course it changed my whole life because it's been music full time ever since. And, and before that, I was like a schoolgirl. So, okay. yeah. Um, last but not least, I would like to ask you for two different things. First mm -hmm. of all is, what do you think of the Finnish songs of Tarude? And what do you think of him being chosen as a famous DJ to represent Finland? Yeah, I mean, of course I heard about him before, so I was excited when I heard that he was representing Finland. And yeah, I heard all the songs only today. And... Um, they're all very different. They have something, but I have one favorite. So, um... We wonder who would be. Oh my god, now I've got the title again. Uh, I think it's Look Away. Look Away, exactly. It's the third song. Okay, yeah. That's my favorite. Okay, so, and what do you think about Leonora, who won uh, Dance Melody Grand Prix a few days ago? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I didn't see the Grand Prix because I was out playing a concert with my band, but I heard, like, some sneak peeks a few weeks before, and I thought that she was going to win her or Julie Bertelsen and the other girl, the girls from Greenland. I thought one of those yep. two songs. So that was right. <laughs> so, thank yeah. you very much for your time, Emily. It was such a pleasure to thank meet you. you after all these years. Can you send a message to the viewers on ESCplus.com? Yeah, is it like a magazine or what is it, a blog? Or? Eurovision website, yeah. ESCplus. What, what was it called? ESCplus.com. ESC. Hi, ESCplus.com. Uh, Emily DeForest here. I'm uh, in Helsinki with... Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> and uh, so lovely yeah. uh, to see you all and... I'm sending you all my love. <laughs>